What's up everybody and welcome back to the channel. My name's Jake. For those that are new here and this is my Case 1570 project. If you are new here and you have not seen everything, I recommend going back to the beginning. There is a whole playlist on this tractor. But anyways, uh, it has been a while since I have put out a video. My last video was uh, being live from the field of Clark Farms. Uh, that video is coming. I'm trying to play catch up here. I've uh, been on a lot of overtime here lately. So when I get off work, I usually just try to spend time with my family and uh, been doing uh, some projects here and there and getting some film that way. But uh, I have not concentrated on trying to get any editing done. So anyways, I'm gonna be playing catch up here and uh, there's gonna be several videos, hopefully within the next couple of weeks here. Uh, in this video, I'm working on uh, getting the turbo back onto the top of the motor and getting everything squared away there. Uh, also, I'm working on putting back together the front axle, getting the bushings in, bearings in, getting the center pivot all cleaned up, and uh, get closer to painting anyways. The next video will definitely be painting, so anyways, be looking forward to that. So. Without further ado, let's get to the video. Oh, before the video starts, uh, I do apologize that there's any uh, inconsistency as far as the explaining here and there. Uh, a lot of my audio is messed up. Uh, was using my GoPro 5 on a lot of things and my audio was very bad. Uh, switched over to the 9 here with a media mod, so I haven't had near the problems with it. So the videos will get better, just hang in there. I'm sorry that I didn't get uh, me actually putting on the turbo. I thought I hit the record button and I didn't. So uh, I was trying to do a regular video there and try to show the turbo going on, but uh, that didn't work so hot. So I do apologize because I was trying to, you know, make a good shot for y'all. But oh well, we'll move on now. All right, I'm gonna call it quits for tonight. I'm having brain farts here and not remembering where I'm placing things, so I think it's time to call it quits for tonight. I think uh, first thing off in the morning, I think I'm gonna run to town, get a few things. I need a couple of rubber washers to be able to 
put onto the oil feed line and I'm missing one clamp for the crossover over to the manifold from the turbo. So I think I'm gonna do that first thing in the morning. Plus my pieces for my front end are done. So I think I'll go in and pick those up. And I forgot wheel bearing grease for uh, wheel bearings. So I think I'm gonna make a list and go to town and first thing and go from there. So I'll pick this up tomorrow. All right, here it's the next day on Saturday here. We run to town and got a few things uh, that I needed for the tractor. I needed uh, new grommets for the oil feed for the turbo. And uh, we're gonna try to work at things again today. Uh, see how far we can get. <clears throat> try to finish up the uh, turbo today and Try to uh, start working on the front end, actual. Uh, try to get the bushings into the spindles because I got a little instructions on how to do that. So try to get that done today and then we'll go from there. not getting things to line up here uh, the new turbo and everything's not quite lining up with the uh, elbow so I'm going to go to the drawing board and put some feelers out and see if there's anything that we can change but it seems like everything's kind of crooked to what the tractor is So with everything kind of straight in there, I don't know what's going on, but I'm going to call it quits on this for tonight and see what people think in our group of 
back. Case IH. Right. On a group on Facebook, uh, J.I. Case Mas Machinery. See if anybody can uh, help us out. Because it's obviously wrong. Something is. So. I'm going to do something else now. everyone it's a new week here and we're gonna get started I'm working on the tractor again and uh, I got everything now that I need for the center uh, pivot here and uh, new bearings seals and whatnot I'm gonna start working on that today my wife is out here and she's gonna start cleaning out the cab and uh, get everything spick and fan get everything spick and span in there uh, much as we can there's floor mat needs to come out and whatnot so got my pieces back from uh, my machinist he got me fixed up here get this piece apart he uh, welded everything back here and he also got me some different bushings in here since this was wallered out it looks like it's off center but things are war but it's uh, he promised that it was where it was at originally so anyways we're gonna try to work at getting everything back together now. All right, I'm letting the bearing cool down in the freezer, uh, and then I'll try to get it in here. I uh, just moved the time lapse up to her cleaning out the cab, and uh, I'm gonna work on trying to get the turbo everything buttoned up. I was struggling trying to get everything lined up, and uh, come find out, well, the center piece in there. That piece right there uh, kind of takes up for the slack of it somewhat. So I'm going to uh, try to get everything buttoned up and back tightened up with the uh, turbo. And uh, yeah, get that much closer. I need to work over my elbow. like to get a nice square edged seal again so I need to work that over a little bit uh, probably do some welding or something like that try to keep it cool though try to get a nice square edge on things again and then uh, hopefully that will uh, seal up when we stick everything together
had some dinner and now I'm back down here at the shed. I'm gonna try to uh, torque down as much as I can on the uh, center pivot here. It's supposed to be at uh, 200 to 300 foot pounds. So I'm gonna try to do everything I can. There's a little bit of space up here at the top. In here, in between the two, which I am guessing that that is okay there. I don't remember what it was when we tore everything apart, but also everything was kind of wore out in there. Thank goodness I le learned a little trick of just using some lubricating oil. I was trying earlier this week with uh, trying to get those in there and wasn't trying any penetrating oil or anything to lube it. And uh, I was talking to a friend and he said that he was uh, done similar things with uh, nylon bushings out on the oil field and they used lithium grease well I don't have that so I went with the next best option which is penetrating oil and makes a world of a difference uh, I figured that freezing and the I figured that freezing the bushing and then warming up the uh, housing itself would uh, give me enough clearance to be able to do it but uh, he gave me that trick and <laughs> I tell you, it saved me a lot of trouble. Uh, thank goodness for some friends to be able to talk to and bounce some ideas off of. So, uh, I cleaned off the cylinders uh, with some parts cleaner, so I'm letting them dry, and then I'll get those mounted up. I need to work on my spindles now, obviously, uh, to be able to stick those in and get everything cleaned up that way. 
looks clean. I just need to fine clean them. So, uh, see what else I can get done tonight. If everything goes good, tomorrow I may be sticking some paint on this thing. So, which is all right by me. spindle done with the new bearings and I got everything cleaned up for it uh, because that is the one that we torched on so it's all cleaned up and ready to go I got it sitting over to the side over here and uh, I have the nylon bushings that are protruding out just a little bit because things are so war if I had a bunch of money I would have just uh, had those uh, replaced and the spindles themselves are showing some wear so but I don't have a super lot of money and uh, you know putting all everything back together uh, and making sure that there's plenty of grease and things it'll probably outlast my lifetime so uh, anyways I am going to call it quits for tonight and uh, get some rest and try to get up nice and early tomorrow when it's nice and cool and try to go at it again tomorrow uh, be able to get that much farther I believe at the rate of things that are going right now I will be able to stick some paint on this thing tomorrow hopefully so anyways I will pick it up tomorrow and we'll go from there all right, here's the end of the video. Uh, it's about 25 minutes long as far as without me jabbering here at the beginning and the end here. So anyways, uh, just want to thank everybody for getting to this point in the video and be looking for some more videos on this tractor. There's still more coming and uh, hopefully by the end of the week here, I will have another one out. But anyways, I just want to thank everybody for getting to this point give the video a thumbs up if you uh enjoyed this sort of content and leave a comment if you do also that kind of helps out the channel here and if you're new here consider subscribing we got many more projects coming just like this project here so anyways uh we'll see y'all in the next one